I started stand-up comedy in the army. And like, in the army. I was in Afghanistan. <laughs> Like, on my first deployment, like, we were, like, before, like, you don't fly straight to Afghanistan. Like, first you, like, hang out in Kyrgyzstan, which is beautiful. Like, it kind of is, though. It's, like, very pretty mountains. Like, lacking in infrastructure, but beautiful nature. And you hang out there for, like, four or five days. And then we were getting ready to go on the plane to Kandahar. And all of a sudden, Dave Attell and Artie Lang get on our plane. And I'm like, war is so fucking weird. <laughs> like, that was my first thought. Like, and also, if this plane goes down, like, we are not making the news. David Tell and Artie Lang are making the news. Maybe that's, like, it, like, part of my head is, like, maybe that, like, they're the insurance. So, like, we can't, like, take the PR from, like, David Tell getting shot down. So, like, this, these guys will land. <laughs> But it's, it's true, like, and then they, they crushed, they did, like, some USO shows, they were super cool, um, and I'm like, I'm gonna do that, and so I started telling jokes and stories around the garbage fire. <laughs> and that is, and is not a metaphor. <laughs> that is real burning trash can. <laughs> and a lot of times it would go really well, you know, like, people would be like, man, this is super fun, like, let's do this again. But then, like, sometimes it did not go well, and they're like, we're going to go on patrol early. <laughs> and that hurts. I, a little bit. It's, it's not great to hear that, you know, you're less enticing than the worst human experience. <laughs> like, that's... Like, when they're like, we're going to take our chances with the Taliban's bombs. <laughs> that's, that's a wake-up call. And there's no snooze button on that one. I ended up, like, when I was in Afghanistan, I bought a book on how to become better at stand-up comedy, and one of the things it suggested was crowd work. That's real hard to do when you're in Afghanistan, because you all live together, and you all have the same job. And I'd be like, how long have you two been together? And they're like, you can't ask Ben, we can't tell you. the best but then one day we detained some Taliban guys <laughs> and it was gonna be a couple days until they could get picked up for processing and they're like we need somebody to guard these guys and I shot my hand up like a good little volunteer and I would hang out there with like my interpreter and I'd just be like hey like what's your name like what do you do like who's your dad <laughs> and I got exactly one laugh during this <laughs> But it is my favorite laugh in comedy. <laughs> yeah, because I feel like I really had to connect all the dots for that one to work. And like, yeah, I had a literal captive audience, but... <laughs> you know, I, I still had to make it work. It's not like we were in a comedy club. It's not like I was using the two drink minimum to waterboard them. Uh, <laughs> oh. Uh, but then, like, a couple, a couple days, like, after they got picked up, I get a very angry phone call from one of the generals in Kandahar. And he's like, who the fuck talked to these guys? And I'm like, that was, that was me, sir. He's like, you can't do that. And I'm like, I was, I was just trying some jokes. One hit real well. <laughs> and he was like, yeah, I don't care. That is according to... Uh, according to the statutes, that is unconventional interrogation. <laughs> that is technically a war crime, Peter. <laughs> and have you ever pursued the arts so badly that the Geneva Conventions gets brought up legitimately? <laughs> I, the Geneva Conventions, by the way, only exist because some guy pursued the arts badly. You know what? <laughs> Let him into art school. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> I, <laughs> I think that that's why art got weird in the 50s, you know? Like, they just started being like, look at this guy. Like, he was supposed to do a landscape. It's just like three blocks. <laughs> Did a child do this? They're like, I don't care. Let him in. <laughs> like, this guy, like, just splattered. This is the worst self-portrait I've ever seen. They're like, look, dude, if he can do that to a canvas, God knows what he'll do to Poland. <laughs> <laughs> 